Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. I traveled to Tampere near the end of August to see my friend and in this video we are setting up my travel journal and I will also talk about what I did in Tampere. Let's start off with a little stationery haul. I bought two different kinds of postcards and two sticker sheets from Vihkokauppa, which is a lovely stationery store in Tampere and you should definitely check it out if you ever travel to Finland. I also have this little ticket from my trip which I'm going to be using later to decorate the pages. If you've seen my previous travel journal video, you know that I bought an actual old book from a thrift store and I tore some pages from it so I could use them for decorating my journal. This book only cost 1 euro I think, so it was very cheap and I love using old book pages in my journals as they give a nice texture. I've previously used a free old book page printable for this purpose and I will link that in the description in case you want to use it and don't have any old books available. Now that I've had my travel journal for over a year, I know more which kind of things I like to use in it and nowadays I usually buy a postcard or two for my travels and stick them to my journal. You could also use the postcard to make a flip out or a flip note that you can flip back and forth and add some text under it. I've done that in my previous travel journal video, so go check out one of those if you would like to know more about that. On the top of the page I stamped the header and first I tried to use the stamp block that came with these stamps, but that had dried up so I ended up using a different ink I had and fixed one letter with a gel pen. I ended up using the postcard with lamps on my cover page I guess because it was just too cute and the weather was still quite summery in Tampere so I didn't want to use the other one which had more autumnal colors I guess. On the right side I added some photos that I took on the first day on my trip and I also added some washi tapes near them for decorations. I tried to go for similar colors with the postcard so the spread would have a more cohesive look and color scheme and I also added these cute pansy stickers which are from Pikku Paperi and you can actually find their stickers in Vihkokauppa as well if you visit Tampere. I wanted to add more texture in this spread, so I tore some of this light blue grid paper that I made and printed a while ago. And I probably should use more of this sticker paper, as it was really quick to glue down. I also added some more pansy stickers and was a little bit indecisive where I wanted them to go. So on my first day in Tampere, we walked around the neighborhood called Pispala, which has a lot of uphills, so I was sweating a lot. <laughs> and there were also a lot of these beautiful old wooden houses. The area kind of reminded me of old storybooks from Astrid Lindgren, and I could imagine some of her characters like Peppi Longstocking, or is it Pippi in English? <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, the walk was really lovely and it still felt like summer, which was nice. We also went to this vegan restaurant called Hoax, which had delicious food and I had a difficult time choosing which um, food I wanted to try out, <laughs> because I'm used to having only one or two options. 
but I ended up tasting this veggie feta burger, which was delicious. They also had a lot of old arcade games that you could play, and we tried out this Stranger Things game, but didn't break any records, sadly. <laughs> Now let's move on to the next bread and I started off by making a collage on the right side. I used the old book page again as it's such a simple way to add more texture and I feel like it goes well with pretty much anything. <laughs> so it works really well with all different kinds of collages. I also wanted to use this other postcard that I had and this is made by the artist Mia Minerva. And on the bottom of the collage I added this ticket that I had from Pyynikin Näkötorni and I wanted to make a flip out of it so I could see the other side as well. So I glued it down with washi tape and cut off the excess with my exacto knife. For the finishing touches I used these stickers from Oak Monica that I have had for a while and I felt like they went well with the postcard. I could have used the stickers I bought from Vihkokauppa but I felt like they looked a bit too autumnal so I wanted to save them for my autumn travels and bullet journal stuff. I forgot to show you this washi tape earlier that I also bought from Vihkokauppa because I had already used it in my bullet journal and this pink washi tape is from the brand Little Lefty Lou, if you are interested. I usually have too many photos from my trip, so all of them don't fit in the page. So I decided to make a little pocket where I can store them. I used some leftover scrap paper that I had and I think this was from notebook therapy paper pack but I'm not sure if those are available anymore. These pockets are really easy to make and a lot quicker than making envelopes so that's why I prefer them and to avoid bulkiness I cut off the overlapping corners. Speaking about bulkiness, my travel journal is getting very chunky <laughs> and I've only used about 60 pages so I probably won't be able to close it when I get to the second half of it. Um, I got a tip from one of you that you should take some pages off before you start using it so I might have to do that if I still can. <laughs> I don't mind if the travel journal ends up looking bulky, but if it's too bulky it will be difficult to carry around with me, so we will see what happens. <laughs> I might buy a new and smaller journal at some point, but I also don't want to leave so many empty pages in this one. If you have any tips or thoughts of what I should do, definitely write them in the comments. <laughs> I wanted to decorate the pocket a little bit because it looked a bit too simple for my liking. So I added this clear sticker on it that I bought from Yuvaskula and I have posted a travel journal video about that as well. So definitely go check that out. Anyway, here you can see where the Vihkokauppa is located, but I think they are moving into a new location soon. So it might not be in this place anymore. <laughs> There was also a lovely flower shop next to it that had so many beautiful plants I would have loved to get, 
but my apartment sadly doesn't have any more room for plants. <laughs> We also had a delicious lunch, but I don't remember the name of the place. It had Coca-Cola marinated tofu in it, which sounds a bit weird, but was actually very good. <laughs> On my last day, we went to Pyynikin Näkötorni, where you can see amazing views of the whole city. And there's also a little cafe, but we didn't take anything this time. We also visited an old church when we were waiting for a restaurant to open and it was stunning. The stained glass windows were beautiful and it got me thinking if I should make a stained glass bullet journal theme at some point. Let me know if you would like to see that. <laughs> There's also this classic painting of a fallen angel which was really cool to see live because I had only seen photos of that before. Oh, and on Saturday we went to a free music festival called Hairstock, which was fun as I hadn't listened to a live music in a while, and I also discovered some new bands and artists as well. Here's the final flip through of these two spreads that I made, and I love how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to leave a like and also a guitar emoji in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!